to be or not to be, whether it is nobler in the mind to oppose Ophelia or to feign ignorance, what power is the cell? That is the question. My dear Hamlet, you swear the answer is AGP, but you must hear and listen to me. This nucleic acid is as crazy as thou hast become, when I know it to be true that it is the metabolic sum. The cellular metabolism is what I speak of. If thou rejects reason, then listen to my love. Get thee to a nunnery with these ideas you create, when I know the answer is adenosine triphosphate. Negatively charged phosphates are loosely held in a coop. These are broken, and the products are energy in a phosphate group. This reaction that powers the cell is an exergonic one. Our conversation is over, and I have won. Oh, what a noble mind is here overthrown! It's ender and exergonic all alone. By the energy released in exergonic reactions, the cell is able to perform endergonic actions. This is called energy coupling. It only goes this deep, you foolish youngling. Everything you say proves the second law of thermodynamics. Your words are nonsensical and cause lots of panic. Every reaction yields more entropy, and so does your argument with me. Heat energy is lost at every conversion. This adds to the universe's random diversions. By what forces dost thou all powerful ATP work? Why can't thou just be a gentleman and stop being a stubborn jerk? When the phosphate group takes leave from the ATP, it uses kinetic energy, the energy of motion, to move where it has to be. It phosphorylates a molecule, increasing the potential energy located in chemical bonds. This process powers all the cell's needs. It might be hard, but don't go jump in a pond. I now see that I could not be more wrong. I admit defeat. Please, tell me more so my ignorance does not repeat. In our body, there are a plethora of cells, each of which have certain organelles. Mitochondria and chloroblasts, to name a couple. What makes them special is a membrane double. Mitochondria accounts for cellular respiration. Without it, we'd all be in a state of desperation. Chloroplast started off as photosynthetic prokaryotes. Now it plays an important role in all of the eukaryotes. Chloroplast takes in radiant energy from the sun. From here, the cell can begin to have all of its fun. It reacts water with carbon dioxide, producing glucose and oxygen with pride. Thank you for your lesson, O wise Hamlet. 